So, you may have heard of the five ways to well-being, but salad cream boy, you suave and sophisticated fellow I hear you ask. What exactly are they? Well, my observant viewer, in this video I'll be doing just that. And we're starting right now. So, the first way to well-being is by connecting with other people. Good relationships are important for your well-being because they can help you build a sense of belonging and self-worth, give you the opportunity to share positive experiences, provide emotional support and allow you to support others. With that said, there are lots of things that you can do to help build stronger and closer relationships. Some of these are, if possible, take time each day to be with your family and close friends. For example, try and arrange a fixed time to eat dinner together. Arrange a day out with friends that you haven't seen in a while. Try switching off the TV in order to talk or play a game with your children and friends and family. Have lunch with a colleague. Visit family or friend who needs support or company. Or even try volunteering at a local school, hospital or community group. What you don't want to do is, don't rely on technology or social media to maintain your relationships. It's easy to fall into the habit of either texting or messaging or emailing people. It might be good for basic communication, but people kind of need more than that. So the second way to well-being is to be physically active. Being physically active is not just good for your physical health and fitness, but evidence has also shown that it can be great for your well-being by raising your self-esteem, help you to set challenges and goals for yourself and to achieve them, causing chemical changes in your brain, which can help positively change your mood. Some suggestions of what you might want to do is find free activities which will help you get fit, try running with Couch to 5K, which I'll put a link in the description for one of the apps below, Find out how to start swimming, dancing or cycling. And regardless of what kind of body type you are, there are loads and loads and loads of free fitness videos on YouTube. What you don't want to do is feel that you've had to spend hours at the gym. It is best to find activities that you enjoy and make them part of your life. So the third way to well-being is to learn new skills. Research has found that by learning new skills, your mental well-being can improve by boosting self-confidence and raising self-esteem, helping you to build a sense of purpose, and helping you to connect with others. Even if you don't feel like you have enough time, or that you may not feel that you need to learn new things, there are lots of different ways to bring learning into your life. Some of the things that you may want to try and include are, try to cook something new. Try taking on a new responsibility at work, such as mentoring a new staff member or improving your presentation skills. Work on a DIY project such as fixing a broken bike or maybe even something bigger. There are lots of free video tutorials online and on YouTube. Consider signing up for a course at a local college. Through this you can learn a new skill like a new language or something like plumbing or something else. Try new hobbies that challenge you such as writing a blog, starting a YouTube channel, take up a new sport or learn to paint. But don't feel that you have to learn new qualifications or take exams on skills that you're not really interested in. As stated before, it's best to find activities that you enjoy and make them part of your life. So the fourth way to well-being is all about giving to others. Research has shown us that giving and general kindness can improve your mental health by creating positive feelings and a sense of reward, giving you feelings of purpose and self-worth, helping you to connect with others. Now that sounds familiar, doesn't it? So this could be a small act of kindness or it could be a large one like, you know, volunteering in your local community. Some of the things that you might want to try include simply saying thank you to someone for something they've done for you and telling them how much you appreciate them for it. Asking friends, family or colleagues how they're doing and actually listening to them, spending time with friends and relatives who may need the support in company, offering to help someone you know with a DIY project or a work project, volunteering in your community, such as helping at a school, hospital or care home. So the fifth way to well-being is to pay attention to the present moment, or what is also referred to as mindfulness. So this may sound really small, however it has huge power to interrupt that autopilot state that we engage in every day, and it can give us a new perspective on life. It may be helpful to pick a regular time to do this, such as the morning journey to work or the lunchtime walk. 
during which time you can decide to be aware of the sensations the world is creating around you. Try new things and I know this is going to sound small and insignificant but maybe try sitting in a different seat when you go to a meeting or go somewhere different for lunch. This can help you notice the world in a new way. However, some people do find it difficult to practice mindfulness. As soon as they stop what they're doing, lots of thoughts and worries just seem to crowd in. It might be helpful to remember that mindfulness isn't all about making those thoughts go away, but rather about seeing them as mental events. So try imagining sitting at a bus station and watching thought buses just come and go without having to get on them and being taken away. So this might seem hard at first, but by gentle persistence, it is possible. So if you want to hear more about mindfulness, I will be covering this in a lot more detail shortly. So you might want to consider subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. So if you did get any value from this content, I'd like you to consider smashing the like button and to subscribe to the channel if you want any further hints and tips on mental well-being. Because it's like I always say, at the end of the day, it gets dark.